Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my second eye tutorial using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill The Vault Collection. So today I'm using the Ring The Alarm palette which is absolutely gorgeous. Like the shades in this palette are stunning. I'm loving the mix of shades in here. It's like very fall appropriate. And I, I swatched all these shades on my arms and these ones are absolutely gorgeous. The shimmers in here are absolutely stunning again they're more like foil finishes though but like um they are gorgeous and the mattes in here are actually a little bit nicer than the ones in the armed and gorgeous palette and um, i'll link that tutorial up here if you haven't seen it already but yeah i'm really loving like all the shades in this palette and i'm going to insert some little arm swatches here so you can see how they look So even though I've inserted a little clip of my arm swatches, I still want to swatch a few of these on the back of my hand here so you can see. So like that is the um, on camera shade. Um, this is the boom shade. Like look how pigmented those are. Like they're really pigmented. This bomb ash shade is stunning as well. Like that's what that one looks like there. Like this lolly shade is another really nice one. Um, there we have Lolly. So as you can see, they are very pigmented. They are very buttery as well. Great colour payoff, and yeah, really loving them. They're just great. These um, shimmer shades in this palette. I'll swatch a couple of the mattes that I haven't used in the tutorial, so you can see what they look like. So this one here is Mugshot, and the one above it is Siren. So that's Mugshot, and this one here is Siren there. Like, they're really nice as well. As you can see, there's a good colour payoff from them, and they're not that patchy, which is really, really nice. So, guys, this is the eye look that I created today using this palette. I really hope you like the look of it, and if you want to see how to get it, then let's just go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to prep my eyelids with the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the shade Rush in my crease and I'm going to use my big fluffy BH Cosmetics 101 brush. Okay, so now taking the shade here, which is called Framed, and I'm going to use my Morphe M433 brush, and I'm going to apply this more precisely into my crease area just to give it a little bit more depth. Now I'm going to take the shade Secret on my Morphe R39 brush and I'm going to like sort of like stamp that in the outer corner. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Pomade to cut out my lid part. just diffusing the edges a little bit of the pomade here with my little kind of flexible pencil brush. This is the BH Cosmetics 105 brush. This is really good um, for doing this because it's quite a flexible pencil brush. Like it's nothing too stiff but it's going to like move um, too much of the shadows about. So yeah, I was going to do that so there's not like a harsh line up there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade um, on camera which is this gorgeous kind of goldy shade here. So I'm just applying this shade with my finger because what I've noticed with these shadows is, like especially the, the shimmer ones, that they're better to be applied with your finger um, yeah, than a brush really. So I'm just going to apply this all over that area where I cut the lid out. Okay. 
Okay, so now that we have this awkward join just right here, I'm going to take the shade Boom um, again on my finger and I'm just going to apply that right there to sort of like connect um, these shades together. Okay, so this is what we have here. Now I'm just going to do the exact same on the other side. Okay, so there's not really like a highlighting white shade in the palette, you know, from an inner corner. Um, I'm going to try a little bit of this lolly shade here, but I don't know if that's really going to suit in um, there. But let's try that first. Just want to see how this goes. Okay, so I don't really like that shade in there. So what I'm going to do is... Just put a little bit in there just so that it evens it out. I'm going to try a different shade in there because I don't like that. So I'm going to go into another palette from the collection. The Armed and Gorgeous palette has a really nice kind of silvery um, white shade in it there up the top. Um, so that's the VIP shade. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and use that to highlight my inner corner. I'm using this little brush here which is amazing for um, highlighting the inner corner. And it's the Morphe Y22 brush. I've highlighted my inner corner there before I've done like my face makeup which is a bit silly but it um, doesn't matter. I'm going to um, just apply some winged liner and then come back and I'll do the rest of my lower lash line. For winged liner I'm going to be using the Sigma Gel Eyeliner and it's in the shade Wicked which is a really jet black shade. Um, I've been really enjoying this lately so I'm just going to use that just in case you guys are wondering. Okay guys so I've applied my liner and the rest of my face makeup. Now I'm just going to move on and finish up my lower lash line so I'm going to take the shade Rush which is the shade just right here and um, I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line with my Sigma Wide Shader E59 brush Now taking the shade Framed on my Morphe Y21 brush um, I'm just going to push this up close to my lower lash line. And then take a little bit of Secret on my Sigma E15. I'm just going to apply this um, to the outer corner, just right here, like close to my lower lash line. Just connecting that with the winged liner. I'm just going to go back into the Armed in Gorgeous palette and pick up the shade VIP and just apply a little bit more of that to my inner corner. Okay, so for my waterline, I don't know whether I want to apply um, a nude liner or a black liner. Um, I feel like if I might, I feel like if I apply a black liner, it might kind of draw my eyes in a bit too much. I'm going to try a nude liner first and I just got this today. This is the um, Rimmel Scandalized Nude Liner. So I'm going to apply this to my waterline first just to see if that, to see how that goes, sorry. Um, and then if I don't like it, then I can apply the black shade. Okay, so I quite like that actually, so I'm going to go with that today. Um, now I'm just going to apply some mascara and I'm going to use the um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Okay guys, so this is the completed eye look and I am really loving this. I think it's gorgeous and I'm also really impressed with how the shadows performed in this palette. Like um, the matte shades that I used were a lot more kind of uh, pigmented than the um, Armed and Gorgeous palette. Like they were less patchy as well. Like as you can see when I first applied the Rush shade and the Frame shade, like they really blended nicely together. Um, and then the shimmer shades in this palette are absolutely gorgeous. I actually swatched the shades in this palette when I first got the collection and I was so impressed with how buttery and how pigmented the shimmers were in this palette. So like, yeah, I am absolutely loving the shimmer shades in here. I haven't used any Fix Plus again for this look, like um, just like my last 
uh, tutorial that I'm the gorgeous. I never use any Fix Plus for that look either. So yeah, this is the kind of colour payoff I get with the shimmer shades just using my finger. And I really like it. So I'm really impressed with this palette. I'm um, probably more impressed with this one than I was with the Arm de Gorgeous. Although that was a lovely palette as well. Like I really love the shades in that and I love the eye look that I got with that as well. But the actual performance like the formula of these shadows in here are actually a lot better than that palette. I actually forgot to insert the footage of me swatching the Armed and Gorgeous palette on my arms. Like I swatched them specifically you know for the video because I always forget to swatch um, you know the eyeshadows on my arms for you guys like uh, because obviously I'm not using every shade in the palette but like you like to see you know how every shade looks you know kind of like how pigmented are and things like that. So I specifically took arm swatches and I forgot to insert that bit of footage. It wasn't until I was actually uploading it the other day there. Um, I just realised, you know, like as soon as it was processing, you know, like when you upload to YouTube, it uploads and it processes. But anyway, uh, when it was processing, I realised that I hadn't um, inserted the swatches. See, I was a bit gutted about that because I really wanted to show you how they looked. Um, so I do have some pictures of arm swatches so I'll insert them just right here for you so you can kind of get an idea um, of how they look. But anyway guys, this palette, the Ring the Alarm one, is really gorgeous. I do love this. I'm loving this eye look that I've got in here. And yeah, I really hope you like it as well. Um, let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section guys. And if you like this look, give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're brand new to my channel and remember to hit the notification bell so you know when my next tutorial using the vault collection is up. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll speak to you very very soon in my next video. Bye! Mwah.